Yo, what's up, J Squad? Um, J T said we should switch on the LED lights. Yep. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, you have it, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another reaction video. <laughs> <laughs> So we are reacting to the most extreme things Cezanne fans ever did to idols. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen some of the, you know, the obs the obsess the obsessity of Cezanne fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obsessiveness. So, yeah. So if you, if you guys are excited, you guys want to do sit down, subscribe button, and like button, you have to smash it. Yeah, I've got Discord server where you can start your discussion and let's just get right to the video, guys. Well, is the dream of Amy Fan, but to what lengths are you willing to go and get their attention? It doesn't matter to Sasangs whether they get good what or bad attention from whoever scary. they're stalking, as long as they get attention. There are crazed fans and anti fans who network with each other, exchanging or selling idols' information in order to get their attention to. Whoa! I, I do he was in the building and all of them were like waiting outside. No matter what the cost is. Abducted live on stage. Trained eh? performance at the 2011 Angel Price Music Festival in the Lotte World Ice Rink. A Sasang fan managed to sneak on stage and grab the group's leader Taeyeon as they sang Run Devil Run. He literally just walked straight up on her on stage and ah. pulled her away from the group members. Thankfully, her groupmate Sunny knew something was wrong and quickly ah. followed after them. What? Wait, is, like, what? No, is that guy okay, like, upstairs? Honestly, like... Wait, that's... Like, he could be arrested for this, right? Ah, Nyala Kayani. Now, what, what, what did you think was going to happen? You just walk up to there and just carry somebody like that. Ah, or is this a crazy ex that no one knows about? Because the girl was like scared immediately. Like, it wow. felt like she knew him. Or maybe it's a day. A day that you got to be. I don't know. It should actually be a day. Like, you know, the way people. Like run to the content like that. But to grab someone, that's why. Wow. The MC of the show, comedian Oh Jung Tae, also jumped in to stop the attempted abduction. Sony, fans of Girls' Generation, are still angry about the incidents to this day, as the man never got punished for his actions. Poison Whoa, the what the juice. fuck? Back in 2006, poison. Kino Yoon Ho of TVXQ what? was given a drink of poison and orange juice. Back in 2006, you know Yoon Ho of TVXQ was given a drink of orange juice from a staff member, which he gladly took, because he's a hardworking man and needs to stay hydrated. Unfortunately, his trust and good faith in the people around him turned out to be a mistake because a staff member was not a staff member, but an anti fan of Yuno Yunho's. Ah ah! Wait, how did the person even, uh, how did even get there? Yeah. Camouflage. You know, it's a lot of people uh. working together. So, like. The man do not know themselves. All he has to do is just like print out the shades of crew member and you blend them. Oh wow. Cause you're an anti fan. I'm not to um, kill Well, it was orange juice, but the anti fan added super glue to it, which made Yuno so sick that he vomited and coughed up blood before fainting. The poisoning was so serious that Yuno was hospitalized for a few days, but the ordeal traumatized him for a long time. It was years before Yuno could even think about drinking orange juice again. At the time when the incident happened, Yuno's friends were furious about what the Sassing did. Even though she eventually turned herself into the police, Super Junior's Heechul even released an open letter to the anti-fan asking if she was insane or if her brain was rotten. Surprisingly, despite the severity of her crime, Yuno forgave his okay, attacker sorry. and even- Now I know why people really attack K-pop. Um, what's it called? Um, fans. 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 It's because of people like this, because of people so like, things like, like, like this, this that they've heard. Yeah. Wait, so I don't understand. Because you're an anti fan, you, you, you want to kill someone. You want to kill somebody. Like, why? This makes zero sense. It was the same way um, during the Grammys that some people were attacking the people that won. That won, yeah. Like makes no sense. some some armies actually literally went to Bonaboy, like an African yeah this thing. Category. They went to these guys and were like um, BTS deserve Should it. Like, what? Okay, we know they actually deserve, deserve it. it, but I mean it's not the same category. Exactly, like, it's not the same category, man. Like channel your let's turn your energy to where it is like you are going to po poison. Ah no, come on. come on. You are killing someone because of Music that okay, wait, so 
If the person dies, what what, what, what do you gain? Exactly. Okay, now you're in prison, so see how do you feel better about yourself? What? Like I don't understand. Like. Man. As is she not received jail time because of her age? Thankfully, you know it's doing fine, and after undergoing exposure therapy, yeah, that young, you can do something like that. With the help of a mental health professional in a safe environment, he was able to overcome his trauma. Blinded by the spice, because Baby VOX was a huge group at the peak of their fame, they had a ton of fans, and unfortunately, anti fans. In 2000, Hyun and Hye was attacked by an anti fan who shot her in the eyes using a water gun filled with a mixture of soy sauce, red peppers, and vinegar. Because ah! Eunhye had to wear an eye patch during a performance. The group's label, DR Music, believed that the fan was trying to blind her, but Eunhye didn't want to press charges against the Sasang because her injury was so minor. Stalked and crushed, literally. TVXQ has one of the worst Sasangs in the industry, and I'm not exaggerating about that. One of the less extreme things their Sasang said included following their adults around in taxis, everywhere, literally. Eventually, Changmin got so sick of their sh that he went up to a car that had been following his to ask the Sasang to stop. The anti fan, shockingly, not excited about being scolded by her idol, rolled her window up on Changmin's fingers and crushed them. Breaking into her idol's home and leaving a dump, FD Allen had asked for Wait, 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 it's like he. Changmin of. No, no, of TVSQ. Wow. Why 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 do they feel like they have every right to do whatever so they what? want? No no like this is so alarming man like they should watch too honestly. Crush them. Breaking into Arnold's home and leaving a dump, FD Allen had the unfortunate luck of having their residence broken into. If that wasn't violating enough, the Sassing fans who broke into their home completely wrecked their place and stole personal items that belonged to the members. That's not a Sassing, that's that's a thief thing. That's probably yeah. yeah. Just... They didn't just take things though. They left an unpleasant surprise behind for the boys to find. What did they have to leave for FD Island to find? Well, the Sussex left their faces all over the floor for FD Island to remember them by. Ugh. Putting a hit on your competition. This is definitely what one the of the strangest Sussex incidents. What? Putting a hit on your competition. Like, people should kill them. Put in, like, eat. Wow. This is definitely one of the strangest saucing incidents. So, EXO had a saucing fan who was so obsessed with them. She targeted five of their rivals and plotted to get rid of all of them so that they could remain number one. The adults on her hit list were allegedly him chun from B- What is this? Wow, does that make any sense now? Wow, does that make any sense now? Come on! That was the same way they were threatening Namjoon when they went for top. Ah! That they were going to kill them. Ah! That's just plain stupidity, man. I swear Baby, to God. You know Yunho from TVXQ, Battle from B1A4, and Myungsu and Dongwoo from Infinite, watching you sleep. While he was at a Jim Jilbang, which is a public bathhouse that is separated by gender, JYG's Jejong took what should have been a peaceful nap. Unfortunately, a Sasang fan had stalked him to the Jim Jilbang and took pictures of him sleeping. Uh -huh. She also violated his personal space and took away his right to consent by kissing him while he was sleeping. He kissed it's so disgusting. Followed their idol across the world. This is one of the most recent Sasang incidents, so you guys probably know about it. But twice as Nayeon had a stalker from Germany named Josh who traveled to Korea in order to meet her. In the beginning, he pretended that Nayeon was his girlfriend before he revealed that they never met before. This story is super long and crazy, but basically, he went around asking anyone he could find if they knew Nayeon and would give them his contact information to pass on to her. Literally, just any Korean person he came across. He even made himself known to JRP Entertainment and would go in asking if she was there and if he could give her gifts in person. While all this was happening, netizens found old posts online where Josh said that he would hurt someone that didn't love him back. So of course, once got super scared for Nayeon. In ultimate sassing behavior, not only did he not respect that he was making Nayeon uncomfortable, but he also bought flight information so he could be near her which led her to post on Twice's Instagram account begging him to stop. And if you think that things wow. couldn't get worse after that, you'd be wrong because he actually tweeted Chaeyoung's phone number hoping to get someone from Twice to put him in touch with Nayeon. JRP Entertainment had all the girls under police protection and wow. Josh also was never allowed to come near Nayeon or the agency. Watching you in the bathroom. Super Junior's Heechul was just trying to use the bathroom of a storm in peace, oh, but even yeah. that was too much to expect from a Sasang. When he was on the toilet, a Sasang who had hidden in there earlier came out of hiding and approached him, calling him Opa. That's like the number one place I don't want anyone popping up on me. Stranger in the bushes. Big Bang was one of the biggest groups of the, the decade, bushes. and G-Dragon was arguably one of the group's most popular members. Sasangs would follow him all the time, including his house. 
Sick and tired of being stalked right up to his doorstep and having his family be terrified of being at his house, G-Dragon wrote a tweet criticizing Cao Sangs for scaring his mother and sister. Following all the way home, former Girls Generation member Jessica Jung noticed that a man was following her one day when she got out of a taxi. As if that isn't scary enough, the man matched her walking speeds and when she finally got into the safety of her apartment, she heard him shaking the door trying to follow her into her home. In the uh -huh. bathroom. Another bathroom story. And it's honestly even more shocking than what happened to yeah, this 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 So, when EXO was in China, That's some true. girls shaved their heads and pretended to be boys so they could follow what? EXO into the bathroom. Even worse- WHAT THE FUCK?! Why? They shaved... Why? Just to look like boys. So Okay. Like, okay. This is guys. This is weird, right? Like, what the heck? Ah, okay. oh. wow. The pictures of the group in the bathroom. What is wrong with people? Hidden microphone in the shower. Sasang broke into the hotel room of former ex member Tao and installed microphones. The shameless Sasang released the audio files of Tao singing in the shower and other audio files. Envelope full of razor blades. When first generation idols Kan Mian from Baby VOX and Moon Hee from HOT were revealed to be dating, Sa Zhang's were quick to act. They sent an envelope full of razor blades to Mian, which she reported to because, the police immediately. Because he was dating. <laughs> See, if you're a K pop fan and you have the belief that your idol should not have like his own life, his own yeah, relationship, you know, then you're Sa Yeah, yeah. 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 So I don't. I don't. Honestly, man, it just makes no sense. Like, they can, they have the right to live their life, man. Come like, on, it's just stupidity. It's plain stupidity. They don't even know you, I'm sorry. But like, I exactly, they, they, don't, they don't even know you. Oh, they appreciate like, so, your support for them. That's enough. Exactly. So, why are, you, why are you trying to control your life? life. Do you know X of 10? Chen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was, that was why. Married, love, it, they said you should get out of the group. Like, what the fuck? Like, what were you thinking? He was going to marry you or what? Okay, if he marries you and then the next the stop, next level, people then like then he marries so he will marry like like millions like millions of <laughs> it's not possible now they should have their life. Oh God, this fucking... Ah, the good thing is that Mion didn't get hurt when she opened the mail. It could definitely have been worse. Petition to end Idol's life. Back when J Park was leaving 2 p.m., he received a lot of hate for it. He promised to stop all activities, but anti fans just couldn't get over themselves, so they created a petition calling for Jay to um well. And his life. Shockingly, the petition gained okay, from three. So now I can, I can, I can now understand. I can now understand why K-pop idols, no, why K-pop idols like get massive and maximum protection. Protection. Uh, yeah, because of people true. like this, man. Three thousand signatures. Why? Kill somebody. Why? Because he wants to leave a group. So there are three thousand people that think someone should die because. Thousand it was later deleted, and as we know, Jay has gone on to be one of the best CEOs ever at his agency AOMG, pulling Adol's hair to get attention. When TR member Jian was trying to get into her bed, <laughs> like, what you think? <laughs> like, what you think this thing can get any worse here? They just surprise you. <laughs> Housing fan reached out to her and pulled her hair. It's totally obvious from the pictures that Jian was shocked and in pain, but that's the thing about Sasangs. They don't care about how their idols feel, as long as they can make an impression. Injured by a crazy driver, God Sevens Jackson actually got hurt due oh, to the actions it. of Sasangs. The one? crazed anti fan yeah. was so desperate for the group's attention that they drove wildly, leading to Jackson suffering an injury because of the accident. Oh. The incident was so serious and scary that the group's agency, JYP Entertainment, released a statement condemning the Sasang fan and said that stalking artists' cars was a dangerous act. A poisoned cake. Former Super Junior Wait, member no, Hunke once received a gift from a fan. A poisoned cake. <sighs> Former Super Junior member Hunke once received a gift from a fan that was passed along to him by a staff member. The gift was a cake box, which, well, everyone thought contained a cake. Makes sense, right? Well, after opening the cake box, they saw that it did in fact have a cake in it. It's just that that's not all that was in the box. Aside from the cake, the box also contained bags of blood, a knife, and a photo of Han Gang that had been stabbed. As for the cake, after an investigation, it turned out that it contained a poisonous powder. Even though the extra stuff in the box was terrifying, it's a good thing they put it in. Otherwise, Han Gang and his staff might have eaten the poison cake. 
a royal saucing fan. During an appearance on NBC's Radio Star in 2018, Vix's leader N revealed that the group was abducted in Kazakhstan. Basically, what, what happened was Vix was on their way to the airport so they could head back to Korea. The group's managers got off the bus first, probably for safety reasons, but what happened next totally shocked them. The bus driver closed the doors and drove off with Vix inside. It sounds unbelievable, but it's totally true. N asked the bus driver about what happened and he was told that they were going to a special lounge to wait for their check-in time at the airport. Okay, no big deal, right? The group just assumed the wrong information was given to the managers, and they just decided to make the best of the extra time they had on their hands and relax. When they got to the lounge, they found a young girl waiting for them, and they were told that she was the country's princess, who was a huge fan of the group and wanted an opportunity to take photos with them and meet N, who was her bias. The princess turned out to be the president's daughter though, and the country's princess was just a nickname that people called her. Although the story had a happy ending, Fix's managers must have been scared out of their mind. And not to mention, if the kidnapper had been a crazed anti-fan, this could have had a very different ending. Crashing an idol's wedding Back in September 2013, EXO fans made the news, but not for a good reason. Vicky's older brother got married, and of course, EXO attended the wedding as special guests. They were even gonna sing a congratulatory song to honor the bride and the groom, but as soon as they entered the wedding venue, some guests went crazy, okay, setting up their chairs to get pictures of the group and even swarming around the bride and the groom, who were near EXO, in order to take pictures and beg for autographs. A wedding guest shared that the Sassings even ruined the cake cutting ceremony and showed zero respect for the bride's Wedding guest shared Exo fans ruined Baekhyun's The Sasangs even ruined the cake cutting ceremony and showed zero respect for the bride and the groom. Sasangs really have no boundaries and have been an issue in the industry for as long as there have been idols. Thankfully, fans are constantly worried about their idols, reporting any possible sassing or anti fan behavior to entertainment companies right away. What is the worst sassing story you've ever heard? Let me know in the comments below. Bye! <laughs> no, everything, everything here is weird. Honestly, everything here was totally weird. Especially the first one. You just went on stage and grabbed his and, oh, and grabbed us. <laughs> ah. See, and that Kazakhstan too was weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just go and bring them. Because once they take pictures with them. What? Mm. We are left speechless, guys. Honestly, man. Guys, please just smash like on the video and we'll see you next time, guys. Peace.